Hey you, so I've got in one of the trades that I've done off of my 10kg coin. So this is what I got for a direct swap of my 10kg coin that I displayed that I showed off that I traded in with a dealer. So we'll get into this quickly and just break it down. So they're coming on the red label there. And then we'll just break into some of these. So I went for the Queen's Beast Dragon Monster box. As personally, I feel it'll work a lot more better for me at a later date so on this trade as i was mentioning with the kookaburra ones i ended up getting more ounces so this was a quality and quantity trade for me i mean it's fantastic that these have been really well accepted all over the world and especially coming from a mint where a lot of with a majority frown upon their silver releases due to quality control but it's, that, that issue has gone over a lot of people's heads so just taking into what was swapped out, the 10 kg coin went and I got this and not only this, I also ended up getting two quarter ounce dragons, but I'll display those in another video. So for the 10 kg coin off the top of my head, I think we're talking 321 ounces or 322 ounces. So as I was mentioning, as I'm gonna be doing more trades at a later date, I'm gonna be aiming for a lot more ounces so on this one for a direct swap for this box this box holds 400 ounces so on the ounce count i'm up and on the actual sale of the coins i was up so so far so good like i said this this it really does help this set is doing so well and it, i mean it goes to show that the royal mint put their mind to something and stop copying i.e their lunar series and get some of their in-house talent, i.e. Jody Clark on the case, they really can produce studs instead of duds. I mean, looking at this series, so far so good. The hands have been cleaned and dried. I haven't been able to see any kind of spots. I mean, it's always gonna have your edge jagginess. That's a, that's one major thing with these coins. I did cut myself handling one of them not too long ago. Some marks on the coins, it's gonna be condensation. Literally just open the box up. So we'll just look at our roll of these, see what they're saying. So I had this coin pegged in third place for me when I first saw the images and even a few unboxings. It just, I just feel like they didn't use a lot of the space in between there and the dragon looked a bit too elongated. It would have been, personally, I felt it would have been a lot better. They would have had the dragon wrapped around the shield and a lot lower. But after seeing it in hand and actually holding it and looking at it, I had this last, as I mentioned. The Griffin was first for me, as I feel they really went to town and used a lot of the real estate on the Griffin. It's very eye-catching straight away, real stunning for me. I had that first, then the line, and then this, but oh, after seeing this coin now, I've, I've, I've gone ahead and said the Griffin first, as usual, or to date, then this coin second. I mean, what I feel they've done here and uh, the the downside of the the lion for me personally is it's hard to make out it's a lion straight off the bat looking at it whereas the griffin you can see a lot of the detail on it on this one once you've held it in hand and actually physically seen it you can truly appreciate the design of the coin and i will say a lot of dealers that wasn't trading in the queen's beast prior to this are now trading in the Queen's Beast. So this coin seems to have turned a lot of doubters to believers. So it is doing its thing. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised that this one's loved as hard as it is. I would have thought the Griffin and the Lion. I mean, they're, they're, it's just doing fantastic the entire series. So going from strength to strength, being a CGT capital gains tax coin for me is also a bonus as I'm collecting these in quantity. So just going for a tube there. So which one is your favorite for mine? since holding this coin in hand has changed but i think the entire series so far is absolutely stunning today i still don't know how many they're going to be releasing a year so that'll be very interesting to find out i've heard it's two then i've also heard it's three so that's also something i'm going to be finding out in time but so far so good i mean real mint keep up the good job keep jody clark on all your designs and you should be on to winners studs and not duds so that's what i traded out so far guys i mean i've done a lot of trades in the past couple of weeks i've 
damn near sent out close to 40 kg in coins so i should have a lot more coming in i've documented a couple of the trades as i thought they was worth documenting for a couple of mistakes i made and just the sheer volume so i'll have a couple of those videos up in the coming days so hey i love it guys it'd be great to know which motif or design is your favorite what do you think of the series so far i mean coming from the royal mint as i mentioned and a lot of people not really messing with them due to their quality control. This series seems to have caught people's hearts. So what do you think? Do you think it's a stud or a dud? It'd be greatly appreciated to subscribe if you ain't done so already. And I'll catch you guys in the rebound.